Hi, it's Jamie with UK Extension, and today we're talking about a very common problem of brassicas. Brassicas are the cabbage family, the broccolis, the kale, the Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, etc. And there are, is a very, very common pest. In fact, it's kind of difficult to grow these without encountering this pest. The biggest pest problems take one of two forms. Today we're talking about the pillars. There are various cabbage moths, cabbage loopers, diamondback moths, etc. that lay eggs on these plants and then those eggs hatch into little worms, either bright green or striped in the case of the diamondback that start to feed on these things. The damage is minimal at first as the holes are smaller, but as the caterpillars grow larger and larger, they eat more and more. And left uncontrolled, they will eliminate or can eliminate your whole planting and renew, move enough leaf surface that the plant simply can't produce enough food to do a good job of producing a full-size cabbage or a head of broccoli or what have you. So there's a very, effective organic control for this and I can't say that about all organic controls but Bacillus thuringiensis commonly known in the trade as BT is a naturally derived soil bacteria that's extremely effective in controlling caterpillars when they eat it. I routinely on a weekly basis do a preventative spray on all my coal crops of BT. It totally takes care of the problems. If the caterpillars eat a little bit of it, they become ill, don't want to eat anymore and eventually perish. It's a great way to do it. I just do it automatically every week. It does have a little bit of an odor that's not pleasant, but it dissipates as soon as it's dry. And be aware that all of these brassicas grow much better in the fall, late summer into fall, than they do as spring crops. It's very difficult to do a nice cauliflower crop or even broccoli sometimes in Kentucky in the spring. But in the fall, as they're growing into cooler weather, they're just a better, easier grown plant, but the bug pressure does increase. So fall grown crops, I tend to have more of an issue with these bugs than I would later. And harlequin beetle is another one that actually looks like a brightly colored stink bug that you can also see. And that one's a little harder to control, but it tends to occur late season on very stressed plants. You've, I'm sure, all noticed those little white and yellow butterflies or moths that frequent mud puddles and things in the spring and summer. Those are actually the adult form of these green caterpillars and the diamondbacks as well. So when you see those flitting about your garden, they're not pollinating. They're looking for places to lay their eggs and eat your cabbages. So just be aware of these things. Like any pest, if you're looking underneath leaves for eggs and tiny little caterpillars, that's far more effective to treat at that stage and to wait until something has been just decimated like we have here. These plants are not in good shape. It would be hard to find a leaf to eat out of this, much less an actual productive head that we were after with this broccoli. So very easily controlled. Caterpillars on cabbage and related crops. Just be aware, you've got to look for it. There's no excuse to not be in your garden scouting for pests as often as you can. And just being one step ahead of the pest is often the key to whether you succeed or fail in getting that pest under control.